the first numbers of the Fibonacci series of numbers, which let me go back, would be found in our bodies. Yeah, the, the pattern's found in our bodies. It's found on a big, it's found in our hands, it's found in our face, it's found in the plants, it's found in sunflowers. It's, it's the same mm -hmm, mm -hmm. pattern that's in the uh, solar systems. It's a and numerical so pattern it's a numerical created pattern. visually. Right. Manifesting visually, physically. And, and when you change that to tones, it happens to be bum, 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 mm. which our music system is based on. Okay. But as I had also said earlier, our musical system is compromised. And the reason for that is Bach, when he um, used the well-tempered clavier, he was being very practical. Mm. Because when you use Pythagorean, Pythagorean system for creating tones, which is the perfect math to create the perfect tones. Okay. Then you would you 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 actually create a spiral with the music. Okay. And because of that, if you were to be in tune, you would need a piano for the key of C, a piano for the key of D, mm. a piano. It's it's very impractical to do it perfect. So right. what he did was he made a half tone, the square root of twelve, and he compromised everything so that you can have all the different keys on one instrument. And most people can't really notice the difference. So if you were to graph the music coming off our pianos and out of our orchestras, you're going to graph circles, not wow. spirals. OK, OK, I see. Instead okay. of an upward movement, so to speak, it's right. so, it repeats itself. Exactly. Okay. And so also on this CD, I've got the um, Fibonacci numbers, and they're in tuning forks because you, you can't find the perfection in the tones in our music today. Okay. So they're in tuning forks, like um, like listening to little bells in the background or something, okay. kind of like in the breeze. Okay, okay, you so know? it's not necessarily a predominant feature of the CD. No, but it's a constant okay. kind of drone of these, of these little tones weaving in and out. And um, it's pretty effective. Uh, uh, yeah, um, and by the way, I was interested to, to learn that this is, uh, there are lyrics on the CD, you know, mm -hmm. with, with so much quote unquote new age music, uh, uh, you know, it's simply background music and it's nice to know that this is something that we can even sing along with if we mm -hmm. want to. Um, some people have been very touched by your work and if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to read some of the um, quotes that, that people have said regarding, again, Paint Your Soul, her CD. Uh, one wrote, a person wrote to say, it made me feel as though an uncommon force was being exerted over me. It was as if a mystery was confronting me. But the more I listened and the more I thought about it, I realized it wasn't a mystery, but a revelation. The revelation of what might have been, an unspoken perfection, a truth lying deeply buried beneath the accumulation of the rubble of my life. That is extremely powerful. That is an extremely powerful effect to have on someone's uh, life. Um, another one. Last night I was very taken by the haunting beauty of the vocals and also by the cascading effect of the music and how it seemed to create rhythmic surges of consciousness as if my attention was being swept in and out like the waves on the ocean that were also part of the music. Uh, do you use the music to aid meditation? Uh, I'm sure many people do use it. Yeah. Um, one last one. We're on the spiritual path looking for answers. For as much as a plateau is reached in spiritual development, there's always more to learn and feel. Jill's uh, Paint Your Soul CD is just the vehicle to carry us higher and higher. Uh, resonating with the chakras, the body's energy centers, this music frees one from worldly concerns and takes us the next step up. I play it often and for long periods of time. Thank you for your artistry and skill. Those are beautiful comments. Um, people are going to want this now hearing about this. How can they reach you? How can they purchase the CD? And you have others as well. Yes. Okay. Um, I have a website, Jill's Wings of Light. And it's J I L L S okay. Wings of Light L I G H T dot com. Okay, easily that's an found. easy way, and I believe they're at the Ministry of the Spirit also. They also carry them. Um, we were talking a little earlier with the healing potential of this type of music. Do you see yourself eventually in some uh, role as counselor, one on one with individuals, or? Well, I, yes, I do see that as a future, and I have been um, teaching. There's many techniques. Um, to use sound to clear pain out of your body, mm -hmm. to, to rearrange the energy configurations, mm. um, and lots of things that people can just do at home 
to improve their mood, their um, different issues they're working on, right. and so forth. And um, so I, I definitely do future. teach those, yes. Beautiful. Jill, I want to thank you so much for being thank with you. us today. We hope you'll come back and join us. And there's obviously more to discuss about this. So yes, we invite is. you back for another time. Thank you. And that does it for us today, folks. Thank you so much for joining us for Spirit Matters, again, brought to you by Ministry of the Spirit. We are on at 3 p.m. Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And we hope to, join, uh, to be joined by you once again. Thank you so much. Good night.